Hey, Dr. Clark here, and I need to share with you some disturbing information that just came out in October about home insecticides causing autoimmune conditions. Here's what they found. A study uh, was released in which the researchers uh, did, they investigated whether using ins common insecticides for roaches and mosquitoes inside your house are related to people developing two very distinct autoimmune conditions, and they are lupus and rheumatoid arthritis, and they did find a connection. Now, to be fair, what the authors try to say is that, well, we don't know if there's maybe other factors involved for why women are doing that, but it's, it's real hard. This is a quote. It's hard to envision what those other factors might be. So what they're telling you is be real careful if you're using these things. Well, why would an insecticide even trigger an autoimmune condition? Well, let's back up for a second. What is an autoimmune condition? An auto autoimmune condition simply is when your immune system is mistakenly and abnormally attacking your tissues. Now, it could be your thyroid causing you to feel sluggish, you know, uh, having weight loss problems, depression, all those sorts of low thyroid symptoms. It could be your pancreas. You could be developing uh, diabetes right now because your immune system is attacking your pancreas. It could be rheumatoid arthritis, right? Those are all different types of autoimmune conditions. Now, if you talk to, you know, your regular old medical doctor, they're going to say, well, we don't know what causes them. It's all genetics. Well, it is genetics for sure. Some people have a genetic susceptibility for these things, but what triggers them? The triggers are what we're talking about today, and in this study shows that it could be insecticide use because chemicals, I mean chemicals that kill things, right? Do you think those are good for you to be exposed to? Of course not. When you're exposed to these insecticides, what happens is your immune system can be overstimulated by them, real simply. You've got two halves to your immune system, Th1, Th2. They're supposed to be relatively balanced. If they're not, you get what we call an autoimmune condition. If Th1 becomes dominant or TH2 becomes dominant, you get an autoimmune condition. Now, the insecticides, right, can skew this. They can make this happen. Or what they can do is the insecticides can actually depress one half of your immune system. Now, that may be hard to get your head around. There's two ways, right? The insecticides can stimulate your immune system, right? Or what they could do is they could take an immune system that's kind of doing okay and depress one half of it because of the negative effects of that chemical on your body. That's something to think about. So what do you do? Well, the first thing is you need to start using some green products. If you've got ants in your house, look for something that's not airborne. There's a lot of different uh, ant bait products for that, but please don't get something that's, that's super poisonous. You know, use like boric acid or something. If you've got mosquitoes, get a zapper for the inside of your house. Get a fly swatter. It's not worth it to risk developing RA or lupus. I mean, lupus is basically where your, all your body organs are getting attacked by your immune system and you slowly shut down. It's a horrible, horrible, horrible progression for someone with an autoimmune condition. Rheumatoid arthritis is when your cartilage is attacked. You end up with the unstable joints. You can't walk. You're in a wheelchair. And all that can be caused and is linked, we know now, is linked to someone using insecticides in the home. There's a lot of different remedies. I mean, geez, you can just go to uh, Google right now and type in, you know, green remedy for uh, roaches or something. Start using it. It's really not worth it for you to get exposed. And if you are watching this and you have been diagnosed with any kind of autoimmune condition, there's about 30 of them, ulcerative colitis, irritable bowel, um, you know, any low thyroid condition, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, uh, lupus, scleroderma, Sjogren's, you better not use these things because they are not going to help you, okay? It's not worth the risk. They're not going to help you. So every day, what we're finding out is that if you monkey around with your immune system, you're going to have very negative, devastating consequences. And I, you know, I'm glad that the people did this study because what it shows is what I've been telling people for a long time. You need to reduce your amount of chemical exposure. Uh, my aunt, for example, I remember about five, six years ago, she got exposed to some ant spray, went in the hospital, had seizures. I mean, it was, I mean, she was basically comatose. And I personally think that she has developed um, an autoimmune condition since then. But, you know, no one will get it checked. And the fact is, folks, if you go explain this information to your rheumatologist that you're seeing or your uh, whoever ologist you're seeing, they're not going to know much about this. You can, you can show them this, but they're not, they're not going to have read it. That's the kind of, the more ironic and kind of sad thing is that for some reason, clinicians who are treating these conditions, which are incredibly complex, they don't read. I mean, they just don't read about it. 
I have some information that I just read in the literature recently that I'll be happy to share with you guys. I think it's going to really do a lot for you. But, you know, if you need help with an autoimmune condition, if you're not happy, you know, talk to me. Let's figure out what's going on. There's things that you can do to really manage your problems so that you don't feel worse. First thing to do, though, is stop using those things inside your house, right? Roach killers and mosquito sprays specifically are linked to lupus and RA. Scary stuff. I'll talk to you next time.